Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to share with you how I made this card, Noof and Friends. For stamping with, we're going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne and then we're going to stamp the hat out on a piece of copier paper and then we're going to cut it out and use it as a mask while we stamp Noof the cat. For colouring of the hat and Noof, I'm going to be using these watercolour pencils. And these are lovely to work with and blend so well together. And you can use these wet or dry. The stencil I'm going to be using is this lovely flourish stencil and I'm going to place this over my work, blend it and then flip it over and blend it on the other side and I'm going to be using Elements Violet Chalk to blend with. A white Posca pen just to do the little dots on the witch's hat and then I'm going to use a Stardust glitter pen just to add some sparkle to it and to the lantern. A yellow and white gel pen to do the highlights on the card. For stamping, I'm going to be using the latest collection from Lavinia Stamps. So we've got this beautiful noof and the witch's hat. We've got Basil from the Basil and Bibby collection and I'm also going to use these two cheeky characters Minnie and Moo. So let's get started. I'm going to be using my stamping platform so I've got my card in place and I've positioned Noof roughly in place. And then I'm just going to pop the witch's hat on, just making sure that I have room above and below. And then I'm going to take Noof away and then stamp the witch's hat. And I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne to stamp with. Then you need to stamp the witch's hat on to some copier paper and then cut it out to make yourself a mask. And once you've cut it out, just place your mask over your witch's hat that you've stamped onto your card. And now we can position the noof into place. And now I'm just going to stamp Noof. So I'm just giving this a good press down. Take away my mask. And there we have Noof with the witch's hat. And now I'm going to stamp Basil. So I'm just going to pick this up and again just using the Versafine Claire Nocturne and then stamp. And there we have our little basil. And we're now going to be using Mini and Moo. So I'm going to position Mini on the witch's hat and then I'm going to stamp her. And again, using Versafine Claire Nocturne. So we're just going to grab the hands and then I'm going to stamp. To colour in now, I'm going to be using these Brian Zeal watercolour pencils. And I'm going to start off first by using the darkest blue first. So I'm just going to gently 
apply some colour. So we're just going to turn my card around just while I quickly add some colour to Noof. So I'm just going to come round and colour. underneath the hat, her ears, a little bit underneath so we're just going to add a bit of black just around by her chest. I'm just going to bring that around a bit more and then just do a little bit around her paws. And then I'm going to go back to that dark blue and again just gently building this colour up. So I just go for a bit more blue. And then I'm going to go back to using a lighter blue. So I just bring that in a little bit more. And around her nose and her mouth. So we're just bringing that down, this down, doing the back legs now. I'm just going to use some water and just take off the excess onto my cloth. And now we're just going to start to blend all this colour in. So I'm just going to work on the legs first. Then work on the back legs. It's going to work on underneath the witch's hat, do the ears, then work a little bit around the face. So I'm just going to keep just gently working this colour in so it's darker on the outside and then lighter around the nose area. And now we're just going to gently bring in the colour into the middle of her chest. So we're just going to pull all this colour in and we want to keep this middle section light. So we're just going to keep building this colour And just give this a good blending so that we've got a nice blend of colour.
going to go back to using the dark blue and again I'm just now going to just build up the colour on Noof. So I'm just going to go turning my card around and just bringing this darker blue in. So just turn that card around and then we're just going to do a bit more colouring in on the front legs and just do a little bit on the back legs and we'll just do a bit on the paws and again with your brush with some water taking off the excess because you don't want it too wet and now we're just going to start to blend all of this in so we're just going to work again just around the nose and mouth area getting that shadow started and then we're just going to start to build up the colour on her chest so we're just going to blend this nicely all in so we're just taking this colour Again, just taking off the excess on the cloth so my brush isn't so wet. There. Again, just working on the back legs a bit more and then a bit on and pause. So we'll just get that going. Yeah. Just use my cloth to take off some of that colour. I'm just going to work on and then again just give it another dry with a heat gun. Just going to be using a purple now so I'm just going to gently blend this again around her chest. So we're just going to move the card around and then some on her legs and then some on her back legs and then just round where her claws are then underneath the hat and some of her ears and again just around that little mouth and nose of hers and again back to the water taking off the excess off and now we're just going to start to blend that into our card into new So I just want to gently blend this all in. And then working on her back legs. Just so that you get that little hint of purple. Then just blend that in. Then again, taking off the excess, and we're just going to start to blend this now into her chest.
And now we're just going to concentrate and just blending this all in. And then I'm going to give this a dry before I start on the hat. So I've just started using the black watercolour pencil and I've just coloured in the edges of the witch's hat. So just using the darker blue, I'm just now going to blend this into the middle of the witch's hat. So we're just going to get that coming down. And then again, just with your water, taking off the excess, and we're just going to work blending this in to the middle. So I'm just going to pull this colour into the middle. So I'm just going to work just by pulling that colour in. And then from the other side. And we just carry on doing this all the way up the witch's hat. And then again, give it another dry. Then we're going to go back to using the black watercolour pencil and we're just going to build this blackness up just around the edge. So we're just going to keep going around the edges, just bringing that blackness in. And then again, back to your water brush taking off the excess and now we're just going to start to blend this into the middle. Just going to turn my card around and just work on blending this all the way up. And now I'm going to work on the bottom. So I'm going to be using the black watercolour pencil and I'm just going to follow where these lines are and then just I'll do a bit under our mouse. So I'm just gently adding a bit of black. Then again, just using my brush, I'm now just going to gently add a bit of shadow to the ground. So we're just going to get this nicely blended. And then I'm just going to give this a quick dry. And then I'm going to use the purple. And again, just follow where these lines are. And a bit underneath the mouse. And then we're just going to go back to using our brush. Taking off the excess of water. And we're just going to gent gently just blend this into our ground. So we're just going to quickly work with this and blend it. And 
And then I'm just going to use a yellow. Oh, the candle. So I'm just going to do a big yellow circle. And then again, with my brush, I'm just now going to just blend this in. And then give this a dry. Going to be using this flourish stencil now, so I'm just going to position that over my card and I'm just going to bring this up to the top. I'm going to be using Elements Violet Chalk to blend with. So now that my stencil is in position, I'm just going to use a blending brush just blend a little bit onto my blending mat and then I'm just going to gently blend this in. Just around Nooth. And I'm just going to check. That's it. And I'm not going right up to Nooth, I'm just going to leave a white halo around her and then I'm going to flick the stencil over and then I'm going to do the same on the other side so I'm just going to come in from the side and just blend that leaving a halo around Noof so we just want to put some this stencil around there and then with your blending brush just going to gently just gently add a bit of the colour to the bottom and just blend that all in so we're just going to blend just going to be using a bit of chipped sapphire just to blend around the edge so with a smoothie I'm now just going to blend all the way around the edge of the card And now I'm going to do my last mat and layering at a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to trim this down. And then I'm just going to glue this to my card blank. So I'm just going to pop this into the middle and give this a good firm press down. Just going to go back to using my black watercolour pencil and I'm just going to colour in her nose.
and then all I'm doing is just using my finger just to blend the white pen into the black just so that we have a nice gentle soft highlight on them and just do the back of basil Then I'm going to use a white Posca pen and I'm just going to do some little dots on the detail on the witch's hat. So we're just going to follow where those are and just bring this around. So I'm just doing some little dots. Just following the detail on the witch's hat. There. And then I'm just going to use my white gel pen just to do a white rim on the bottom of the hat. And then with the Stardust Glitter pen, I'm just going to go back over where we did those little white dots. Just to add a bit of sparkle to it. I'm going to be using a white gel pen and I'm now just going to flick my white gel pen in and then just blend that in. So we're just going to blend this in. So just flick it into the chest and then just use your finger to soften. Going back to the Stardust Glitter Pen and I'm just going to add a little bit to the candle. And then I'm going to use a micron pen just to do some little dots just around the nose area. There. Just did some little dots with the micron pen. And there we have our finished card. Thank you for joining me today. Please take care and I hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye!